Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. Bug Nice coming at you with the Marvel Legends Mr. Hyde Builder Figure Wave Shang Chi Figure Review. Let's do it. This ain't for no scalper. You a scalper? Then fuck out shit. This one for them real collectors. That's army building and posing figures. Marvel Legends imports. Many may be out fucking with. High beast we know about. You. Stay buying figs. Six figures in a wave, you'll need all six figures to complete the Mr. Hyde Builder figure. Here's a quick look at the artwork on the left flap. It is the same on the left and the right. And there's a quick frontal view. All right, let's bust this bad boy open and see what's what. All right, here we go. Our first look at the MCU's Shang-Chi in figure form. Apparently, this is how he will look in the upcoming film Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Shang-Chi will be portrayed by Chinese actor Simu Liu. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And obviously, the cinematic universe's master of kung fu is based on his comic book counterpart of the same name. But as it relates to the movie version, his body bio on the back of the package reads, Trained since childhood by the mysterious Ten Rings organization, Shang-Chi must confront the past he thought he left behind when he is drawn back into his father's web. Shang-Chi is packed in with the left leg to complete the Mr. Hyde Builder figure. So although the film is not slated to release until September sometime, I did get the opportunity to get this wave early and take a look at these figures. And I must say, out of the package, this is a very nice figure. I think the head sculpt looks great. I like the deco design. I like the parts that they did reuse. It looks like some new parts as well. And I'm really excited to learn more about this movie and how things are going to unfold here. A lot of the Marvel movies have been shrouded in mystery. You know, things couldn't release when they were originally intended to do so because of the pandemic. So we really don't know what's going on. Things are up in the air. We didn't even get any mention of this wave from the Hasbro crew at this past week's Fan Fest. But a few of us in uh, reviewer community were able to snag this wave early and let's take a closer look at his deco. So as previously stated Shang-Chi in the comic books is a master martial artist. He is proficient in many different forms of hand-to-hand -hand, unarmed and armed combat. So hopefully we're going to see some well choreographed really cool fight scenes in this upcoming movie. The fellow who is playing Shang-Chi is obviously a good martial artist himself. Formerly a stuntman if I understand correctly. Correctly. But yeah, brand new head sculpt here, obviously, to match the look of the actor. I think they did a really good job on this head sculpt. It looks pretty accurate, in my opinion. He's got the red top that kind of looks like a martial arts sort of gi or something. I don't know. But some black highlights there. Uh, it is textured, so this is very nice. The upper torso here seems to be new in my opinion. You guys let me know, but I think these legs have been used before. It looks like these may be the same legs that were utilized on maybe the uh, movie Logan figure, as these knee joints are really large. But it's cool that they gave him some larger, more sort of muscular legs to match his upper torso. I think the uh, build here, the look, is very similar to that of the actor. Looks like some new hand sculpts here. I don't think I've seen these before. I definitely haven't seen the additional hands that are packed in with him before. I'll get to those shortly. The sneakers I think we've seen before. I think originally these were the sneakers that were on the uh, Netflix series uh, Danny Ran and then they reused them again for Peter Parker if I'm not mistaken. I'll have to break out Peter Parker for a comparison. No additional head sculpt unfortunately. It would have been nice for a more dynamic head sculpt but it looks like they're going with the neck peg design that they used on the figure is from the Crimson Dynamo Build-A-Figure Wave. So that peg is not the typical ball peg that you would see on most of the comic-based Marvel Legends. Hopefully though, you can swap this head on to some of the other bodies. I will get to that soon. Very attractive looking figure here though. This is a, a big win. This is a big moment for inclusivity. It's a big moment for diversity. It's cool to see a uh, actor of Asian descent being a lead in a movie and most of the characters in the movie 
movie will be of Asian descent. You know, the brothers we got our win with Black Panther, and now it's time for our Asian brothers to get their win. So this is very cool here. Out of the package, he has two hands that are open and kind of cupped. They're both the same sculpt on the left and the right hand. And he's got an additional set that are open, kind of cupped, fingers are bent. This kind of reminds me of maybe like a tiger claw or martial arts pose or gesture. These look good. And then he's got this set of hands. I'm not sure what style this is supposed to represent. You guys let me know in the comments below if you know. I know for certain we've never seen these hands before. And although with the old comic based Iron Fist figure we saw something similar to a tiger claw style, all of these hands are new and specifically set to match this guy's body, skin tone. So I do like the additional hands. I think they could have included maybe one more set, like a flat sort of palm. Or at the very least with the comic based Shang-Chi that we got. They gave him a bunch of hands too. And then aside from that, his final accessory is this long staff. I don't know if there's a traditional name for this or not. If you know, please let me know in the comments below. But it seems to have a handle on both sides. Seems longer than the typical sort of like bow staff. But I'm glad they did include some weapons. Again, he is proficient in all types of weaponry. So I would assume that we'll see him doing his thing with a bunch of different things in the movie. Yeah, I think we really needed another dynamic sort of head sculpt for this guy. But again, I do like the figure. It's a pretty nice figure. Truth is, he may not even be meant to hold the uh, this staff on either side. Maybe those are not handles. Maybe those are the side that you're supposed to strike with and he's supposed to hold it in the middle. But again, you guys let me know in the comments below. Kind of wild that he wasn't included with any fist. Again, we needed two more sets of hands, a set of fists and a set of flat open palms. And it really would have been great to get a dynamic sort of angry, snarling look for an additional head sculpt. Anyway, pretty standard articulation for a male Marvel Legends character. You saw how the neck peg looks, but it doesn't hinder the articulation. You still get him to look up, down, left, right, pivot. Would have been nice if he could look up a bit more, but not bad. Shoulders on a ball joint. It's going to come up that high. You can do a full 360 there. There is an upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, swivel and a hinge on the wrist, ab crunch forward, back pretty far, waist articulation, T-joint at the pelvis, legs will come up pretty far, upper thigh swivel, these knees, I really don't like them. Again, I'm trying to figure out where we've seen these before, but at the very least, it is a double jointed knee, so that's good. You get a nice deep pivot on the foot and you get a hinge. Now, I wish the foot could hinge forward a bit more. I wish that was a little deeper, but otherwise than that, it is decent articulation for a martial artist. Yeah, there is a barbell joint there at the pelvis, and right at this portion, which meets with the pelvis, you can rotate the leg there a bit more for more range of motion. Perfect with somebody doing a lot of kicks and jumping and stuff like that so again decent articulation for a martial artist and a couple quick size comparisons on the far left is the tri sentinel build a figure wave wolverine and then going right we have the retro series peter parker like i said i wanted to break him out to compare the footwear right in the middle of shang chi to his left going right we have the body of the logan trilogy logan figure with the <laughs> with the old uh, red skull head i think that might be the second red skull head we got like this and then on the far right is Neymar, I forget which wave he was in. Something will be popping up here, I guess. And we actually got a size order going on here. So I want to try a few things here. And it does appear that the uh, foot sculpt or the shoe sculpt is the same. It just looks like the ankle joint on Peter Parker is larger than Shang-Chi. But to me, it looks like it's the same sculpt, same design. And you do have the ability to do some hand swaps, but it's going to be a challenge to find hands that are properly sized and the right skin tone. Because uh, Shang-Chi's hands here are a little small smaller than the typical comic based Marvel legend. And again, the skin tone is different. I believe these are Namor's hands, if I'm not mistaken. Same thing with head swaps or body swaps or what have you. You know, you're just gonna have to match up the skin tone. So this is Shang-Chi's head on Peter Parker's body. Probably best if I swap out the hands here too. Yeah, there's a look at that for a completely casual look. His head is a little large, I guess, for this body. I think his head might be just a tad bit large for his intended body, but maybe he's just got a big ass head, who knows? Pause. Yeah, and I guess if you wanted to have him rocking a suit, you could do this. Again, this is uh, the Logan body. So this particular buck is a little larger than the typical Marvel Legends suited body. I think this probably matches his body type a bit more than the more slender suited body from Marvel Legends. So yeah, that's a little closer. I wouldn't even bother with the typical suited body. 
And then there's the hand swapped out too. I could see a lot of kit bashing maybe happening with this particular wave. I could see maybe people trying to swap on the black sneakers onto the black suited body that might look pretty slick. I'm not about to go through that right now, but just putting it out there. And one more size comparison here and I'm gonna wrap this up. As I progress through the reviews of the figures from this wave, I'll do more swaps and comparisons and you know, build up to the end to the builder figure and all of that stuff. But on the far left, we have Daredevil from the Spider build a figure wave i believe and i hear you guys asking for a new updated daredevil highly articulated like spider-man i want that too hopefully we will get that soon and then we have the stilt man build a figure wave hand ninja which i wasn't a big fan of but you know it's okay it's the best that we have for right now i do think he's a little oversized and I still have the Logan body in there because I forgot to say that the legs are not the same. And then on the far right is the 616, the comic base Shang-Chi. Maybe at some point in the movie we will see the MCU Shang-Chi in a similar getup. But yeah, you can kind of make this work for a shirtless look form. Skin tones don't exactly match up, but you could finesse it. But yeah, messing around with the comic base Shang-Chi body allows you to utilize all of those hands that came with that version. So you do get the fist here. I'll try to swap these fists onto his uh, original body and see how that looks. And there's a look at that, the comic based head on the uh, MCU body. Now you notice neck peg is different so it's not going to look right unless you really angle it in a specific way. But just for like a frontal picture or something like that, you can make it work. Yeah, there's that fist. Too big and it doesn't uh, peg all the way in. So yeah man, not a bad figure. I'm not going to lie, I was not really excited for the individual figures in this wave, I guess other than Iron Man is such a weird wave where you have four MCU based characters, one video game character, and one comic based character. But if this guy's design, articulation, the look is anything like the other figures in this wave, then this seems like it might be a solid wave. I'm excited to see what happens in the movie, how they incorporate the Mandarin maybe, being that we're going to be focusing on the Ten Rings, quote unquote. But I will say I'm pretty impressed with this first figure in the wave. This is one that I would definitely recommend. You'll need him if you want to complete the Mr. Hyde Builder figure. So I'm going to do these in order according to the back of the package. So Win Wu will be up next. Thanks for hanging out. As always, rate, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell down there. And until next time, peace. That's crispy. Damn it. I actually pulled the whole neck peg out.